What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda on my quest to find the perfect wallet. So I've been checking out a bunch of wallets these days and I've kind of starting to realize that I really like that minimalist look, but some of the ones that I've looked at here in the past have missed a few different things that I really, really want. And so I thought this one might actually tick all the boxes. What you can see we have the star bit tool here and a bunch of extra screws. And that's because like the, a lot of the minimalist wallets, they're basically two pieces that are sandwiched together. Now in this case, I think these are the replacement screws if you need them. It looks like two pieces of machined aluminum, sandblasted finish, chamfered edge it looks really nice it's got some weight to it that you might expect but this is kind of like oh the iphone 5 of wallets in some ways uh, i do like this color i got this in this color i think they had it in a blue and also like a rose uh color nice metal clip now i want to show you here that these wallets are basically the size of a business card or a credit card i mean that is what they are designed to do is to produce no bigger footprint than what you absolutely need linden lay this is the brand name. Now, um, what you have are a couple of thumb pushers here or, you know, so that you can grab, right? Some cutouts here so you can push it out, grab it. You can see we have elastic on the side here and then uh, nothing on either side. So it looks like stuff can go out of the top or bottom. Now, I'm actually not a big fan of that because if I hit this the wrong way, I've got things kind of moving in and out. I actually like when there's elastic on the bottom and maybe a little thumb pusher. So I don't know now if this is selling me quite as much as I had hoped. I wanna show you here too that it looks like, look at this. So if I pull this elastic out, this is really a free floater. There's a little cut here, and that's really what holds it in place. So, actually, I guess there's two sandwich pieces here. There's kind of an inner piece and an outer piece, and there's that's what these screws are holding together here. So that's kind of interesting. Now, um, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I kind of was sold on it by the pictures, but I, I will figure out if this works. Uh, decently or not. So first thing I'm going to do is just going to move this back. We'll line that up so that the pieces kind of stay in place. Um, just like that. All right. So I've got some money here. One of the things that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to uh, fold your money into quarters like this in order to get it in this money clip. Uh, it seems like it'll stay in there pretty well, but this is a little bit of a slippery, you know, material here. So it's going to be easy to pull it out, but I might even like it a little grippier, but you can put your money right there. Now, here is my big problem. Okay, so the big problem for me is when I go out, something like that, I'll have my personal business cards, work business cards. So I usually will carry, say, maybe a bunch of business cards. And then I'll have my credit cards, my ID badges and all that stuff. So I'm gonna have, I have a pretty healthy stack of business cards here because I really want to test this to a larger limit. And then if I open up one side and it really doesn't matter which side because they're both open and push this in, it's just going to sandwich everything in place, which is nice. And the one thing that I was thinking about is, you know, I can kind of push out one of these cards if I wanted to. Uh, the one thing that I really kind of liked about this elastic going on the outside here is that I also have an ID badge that I can scan to get into my office. And I was thinking, oh, I could put this on the outside. And I really like that the elastic is on the outside here because now I can swipe it and get in and I can have that front and center for for doing that. So that's what I really like about it. Now, I was, I'm was i a little worried about things falling out, but I will tell you what, this actually seems, let me just grab one side. Ugh. I don't take a lot of abuse, you know? It's actually holding things in place. Now, I guess it depends on how, you know, slippery the things that you're using. But the, what I really like about this is that you go to a convention, trade show, whatever, and you hand out just a crap ton of business cards. And so you're coming back much lighter at the end of the day. And these things, because of the elastic, will kind of scale down. And so now, again, I don't have things falling out. So I guess I really do like this. This one is a, this one is a clear, leader for me right now uh, just because of the fact that it has the elastic running on the outside. I thought losing one on the top or the bottom would maybe run a little bit higher risk of losing things out of the side, but you know, the fact that I can attach something to the outside here and still get it if I need to is a pretty big advantage for me personally. So check it out. I will put a link to this in the description. It's not that expensive, like a $10 uh, piece, but it's going to be a front pocket wallet for sure. Um, but so far, I really like it. Check it out. Pick one up. Peter Von Panda, out.